morning and welcome to vlog number nine. I didn't speak to you yesterday, um, as you know, baking Tuesday. I just baked all the cakes. Um, I've only got one cake this week. Well, I've got two. Only one of them is an order. So I've got a minion dressed as Batman as a cake. So I baked all the cakes for that yesterday. And I've been dying to try out an apple cake. I wanted to make like a toffee apple cake. So I baked that as well yesterday. It's just a regular cake mix, I don't get fancy with anything, they're just Victoria sponge cake which is just equal parts everything and your eggs but then I grated a full apple into it, a bit of mixed spice and then buttercream in the middle with toffee sauce so I'm just going to see what that tastes like after. So yeah, I only took one cake on this week because we are down at Norfolk at weekend so I want to make sure that that cake's finished and collected before we head off down there. So yeah, there was nothing exciting to film. Um, I'm actually filming both as tutorials, I think, which means there's not gonna be much cake footage in the vlog, because of course I'll be using the camera again. But we did go to Home Bargains last night to pick up some bits for the toffee apple cake that I baked, because I thought if I'm gonna bake it, I might as well decorate it and use it as a tutorial. So I'll just show you what I got. So I picked up these, um, the cold goo heads, which basically are cream eggs. But I don't think they have a yellow and white centre like an egg, it's just white I think. So yeah, this is what they look like. There's a skull and a werewolf, Dracula, Frankenstein, pumpkin. Um, and I bought these because I'm going to use one as a spider's body I think. So that's like the spider's body at the back and then obviously when you cut into it, all the white goo oozes out. <laughs> These were $1.99 in Home Bargains. Then I got some marshmallows, just white ones, because um, I'm going to melt these down to make a spider web, I think. Then I find these sprinkles. I just had to pick them up. They were 79p because they've got black skull sprinkles in. There's also purple sugar, yellow sugar, and some various coloured strands but I picked them up just for these. Not even sure what I'm gonna use them on, but they will come in handy. I bought two more candles, a Halloween scented candle and another Christmas candle. And then I picked up this. I think there's something wrong with me just by <laughs> buying all these scented things. But this is another scents and spray unit. Got this one for the bedroom. Um, these are actually the 399, the Glade scents and sprays. They're usually 399 with a canister but I found this one a couple of rows away and because it's a limited edition because it's got like a different smell in it it was actually only 2 .99. I think it's because the whole box is like in French or something so this one were actually 2 .99. it's the exact same unit so might as well pick that one up it is 10 o'clock in the morning I have already ganached the toffee apple cake. I'm not 100% sure I'm going to decorate it. I know it's got spider and webs on it. It depends on how it turns out. I might get that one finished today and I'm also going to be carving the minion and ganaching the minion. Probably start decorating it today. But like I said, I'm using the camera so you won't see any of that. I will just keep updating you with where I'm up to. Well, that's good. The crown I had fitted last week has just come out. <laughs> Luckily, I didn't swallow it or drop it down the sink when I decided to wash it. So it is safely back in its little box and I don't know when I'm going to have time to go to the dentist to get it put back in. Just another trip to the dentist. <laughs> I'm having these for dinner today. Um, I tried them yesterday. They're called Toasty Pockets from Warburton's. You get four in a packet and they're like these soft bread things that open up and then you put your filling in. I'm having cheese and ham. And then you pop them in the toaster. You probably, I push mine down in twice until they go golden brown and all the cheese melts inside, which makes for a quick, easy dinner. So I'm just popping two slices of the sweatiest ham on earth inside. And then I'm gonna stuff it with cheese. And then I squash mine a little bit. Otherwise I think the bread part's gonna get too close to the filament thing and then burn. So I squash them in, pop them in the toaster. So that's them out of the toaster. I put them in like, press them down once and then did it again and only left them in for half the time. But the cheese is all melted inside. Oh my God, I've just had the best idea. You could turn these into pizzas. You could put tomato sauce in there with cheese. You can put 
pepperoni in there, a chopped sausage, a couple of basil leaves. Yeah, I know what I'm buying next week. So that's the spider cake all finished. Hopefully this should be tomorrow's tutorial for you. As long as I can get it edited in time. But I've used those black sprinkle skulls as little flies. <laughs> Caught in the spider's web. And here's the spider with his cream egg bum. So I just need to take pictures of this later. Try the new toffee apple flavour to see if it's any good. I haven't touched the minion cake yet. I really need to get started on that. So I'm going to move this out of the way and then start on the minion. I thought I'd better just pop on and say hello. Otherwise Thursday is going to be completely empty. I have finished the minion cake, which I will show you when I go downstairs. Finished that off, had tea. Then you'd just think I'd sit down like a normal person, but no, the bedroom needed tidying. So I've just come up and done a bit of tidying in here. The wash basket is overflowing, but I do have my new Dumbo bedding on. How cute is it? I love this one. It's so cute. Yeah, as you can tell, the blue and yellow, this is what I was trying to talk about in the last vlog. So the bedroom is blue and yellow themed. Curtains, massive overflowing wash basket. Blue walls. She sings every second of every day. So yeah, we've got, I don't know if I, I've probably mentioned this a million times, but the, the theme of this bedroom is kind of like birds, bees, meadow. So we've got a bee clock. Doesn't work. It's been on the wall since we moved in and it's never worked, but it's staying there because it's the coolest clock I can find. We have some like dandelions, so that's where like the meadow comes in. A little sunshine print, we've got the little sunshine cushion on the bed. We have the hello sunshine on the wall, more meadow flowers. Of course, Lego Wally. <laughs> he has now moved into the bedroom because he is also yellow. There are a couple of birds down there just behind my beer. And I chose the lampshade because I thought it looked a bit like a bird's nest. So yeah, if you ever spot any blue and yellow bedding, please let me know, because I do struggle to find it. There is so much to update you on. Being a little bit quiet, because I can hear people working outside, and they keep walking past the window, and they're going to think I'm absolutely mad talking to myself. Well, I'm, I'm not talking to myself, because there's thousands of you watching, but at the minute, in my own house, sat in my chair, I look like I'm talking to myself. So, I said I'd show you the minion cake, so let me do that now. Oh, well, here he is. I've already made this version before. I've done Batman Minion, but last time he was holding a little uh, Max from Secret Life of Pets. And they wanted to swap Max for a little tiny Captain America minion. <laughs> so, here he is. He was finished yesterday. Um, I've just added a little little bag of black sugar paste so that they can make like a little holder for some I think they wanted to put candles on so I've left some room at, on the board there where they can just roll balls of sugar paste and stick the candles in so he's going I think between 11 and 12 today I need to hoover before she gets here because there's bits all over the floor right Norfolk if you watched last week's vlog I said that I was heading to Norfolk at the weekend for a shop opening that has been postponed for another day paperwork it can't be helped just when you think you're going to get sorted wham there's another bit of paperwork for you to fill in so when i know when that's happening of course i will let you know on facebook unfortunately the hotel that was booked if it would have been cancelled they would have lost money so but there's no plans now so i've absolutely no idea what we're doing what we can visit i need to spend today just having a quick look of what we can do when we're there just so we can make the most of it really we are meeting up with the lovely Sam and Gary. Sam is a fellow cake maker. So we're going out for a meal on Saturday night. They've booked a place. I have no idea where it is, what it's called, how I should dress. It looks a little bit posh. So I need to sort myself out for that. That was a parcel just arriving from H&M. So yeah, it's Friday today. There is so much to do. I have got to edit the tutorial for tomorrow. I have got to pack, 
I'm also, I've also got to pack for Adam because he doesn't get in from work until six and then that's when we're going to set off because it's a four and a half hour drive so we're not going to get there till at least 11 o'clock at night. <laughs> we are a set of grannies, we are usually in bed at 11 o'clock at night. <laughs> The kids packing to do, they're staying over at my mum's because there is a soapbox race. It's a local soapbox race um, at the local park and Kai will be taking his camera to film that. So that's what they're up to. Kitchen's a mess. It's marshmallow all over the place. I am aware I look like a complete mess on most of these vlogs. Half of the time I miss complete days because I just think they don't want to stare at this face. I have run out of makeup. <laughs> I am literally just trying to scrape the last bit of foundation out of the tub. I haven't had a chance to order anything. Ugh, I hate not being organised and behind. So this is my parcel from H&M. I really shouldn't watch other YouTubers. When other YouTubers go clothes shopping and they try on things, I end up buying it. So I just got a plain black skirt from H&M. Oh, it looks quite short actually. You know me and my skirts, either too short or too long. I've got a feeling that might be too short, but it only cost me about £11, I think. I will have to try it on. It's not too bad. I mean, I've got it on with my leggings <laughs> and my t-shirt that I had on. But I think it was it was £12.99. H&M had like a code if you're a club member. It's free to become a club member and free delivery. And sometimes they have the offers on for like 15% off or 10% off. It's a medium because the girl did say it was quite big. But it is a little bit tight. But I really do need to lose some weight. Only because I don't want to buy a whole new set of bigger clothes. I want the clothes in my wardrobe to fit me. So I need to lose some weight to get back into them rather than buy a whole new wardrobe. So yeah, for anybody interested, I am only 5 foot 1. I have size 3 feet and I'm bet in between a 12 and 14. You know, just in case anybody wants to know how long it might be on them or how short it might be. But yeah, this should be alright with tights and a t-shirt. The bunny slippers are optional. So yeah, keep this one I think, just need to lose some weight. <laughs> and my chocolate order is here. This is what about 120 to 130 pounds worth of chocolate looks like. We'll get you two 10 kilo bags, so there's 20 kilos of dark chocolate here. I use these because they're just, they're easy enough to melt when they're in little small button things. I just buy this online. I get it from different places every time, depending on who's the cheapest. Chocolate is not cheap. <laughs> arrived. I am whispering a bit because we're quite close to some of the other rooms and they'll probably be in bed. The camera battery is almost dead so I'm tethered to the wall with it plugged in so I can't show you the full room but I will do a full room tour tomorrow when the camera is charged. But it's very pretty, nice and blue and there's a little toilet just through there.
we have walked the coastal path from what's it Sherringham, Sherringham <laughs> to Weirborn. We are trying to find the train yeah. so we can catch the train back and we're just following its little poops. <laughs> And then we just follow the side <laughs> to try and find the train station <laughs> because we're just in the middle of a country lane, not got a clue where we are. <laughs> oh, you're funny. We're proper thirsty. I can hear it. We must be close now, I can hear it. So we're going to catch the train back from Weybourne to Sheringham. I think we might have actually just missed it. <laughs> But we haven't been able to speak to you all morning um, because the, when up on the coastal path it's been really, really windy. So you won't have been able to hear a thing. I can hear the train. It's leaving without us, Adam. <laughs> yeah, <we're right. laughs> Catch the next <laughs> one. <laughs> Don't get me confused. <laughs> <laughs> so the weather where we've come from is torrential rain and freezing so we knew we were going on a coastal path so we packed massive parka coats I brought my scarf and the temperature is what what is it here Adam about 25 24, 24. it's roasting absolutely roasting so we come prepared with scarves so we're a bit warm. Uh, we met up with Sam and Gary today and we stopped in the little cottage for a scone and we're meeting up with them again later. But they said it was posh. I might not be able to film. Yeah, I might not be able to film in there. We just want to say a big thank you to Sam and Gary for inviting us down. Never would have thought to come down here before. We usually just pick, just pick the really obvious places to visit. So we would have never seen any of this had they not asked us to come down. Morning. We have checked out of our b, &B today. It is now, we got up at half, no, we got up at eight. Yeah, go on. <laughs> Had to get up at eight to make sure we were there for breakfast. Um, it is now 10 o'clock. We are just walking along the seafront at Sheringham. Got no plans today, so I don't know what we'll get up to. But it's a, it's a good four and a half hour drive back, so. We can't set off too late. We went for our meal last night with Sam and Gary. We went to a place called The Pheasant. Um, yes, it was quite posh. Oh, which way are we going? Oh, <laughs> into the sea. <laughs> yeah. Not quite sure which path. Obviously not the one to the sea, but I don't know where that one goes. But this is the view this morning. A little bit misty out there. Nobody around. It's like we're early on a Sunday morning, a couple of the shops aren't open yet. So we just thought we'd have a little walk about. So we found a sign for something called Beeston Hill. Uh, I'm assuming that that's Beeston Hill. <laughs> Why do we always, every time we come away, end up on a hill? Oh, <laughs> we just follow the path. We follow the path and we're always at the top of the hill. Well, we've come across a sign and apparently it's called Beeston Bump. And it says, according to the legend, Beast and Bump is the layer of black shuck, a terrifying hound that roams the hills. <laughs> I think that might be you. <laughs> We are on our way home, it decided to start raining a little bit 
and it got really cold so and we'd done most of Sheringham so we thought we'd better set off back. The B&B was nice, Alexandra House. If I find um, a code for any money off or whatever I'll leave that below um, so you can check that out. Breakfast was good, you had um, like a full English every single morning. I just had like beans on toast or egg on toast. That filled us up for most of the day. The room was nice. Stefan, the man who owned it, was nice. So you couldn't fault that in the slightest. It just it was a little bit warm though. Everywhere we stopped walking. <laughs> yeah, everywhere is warm compared to our house. So we're not far off home now. We've driven four hours. Four and a half. Four and a half. Yeah, tired, got to go home and start work. So we have only been back home two hours. I tried to get some work done but none of the websites are working. Adam's tried to watch TV <laughs> and his TV's broke. Um, it happened last time the backlights have gone on the telly which means you can hear it but you can't see a thing so that needs fixing again. Where there is a will there is a way so we're watching Doctor Who on the iPad <laughs> before we go to bed. So tomorrow's tutorial is the sticky marshmallow spider cake. I'm not vlogging next week. I definitely need a week off. I've done two weeks vlogging on the run. <laughs> it is hard work. It's hard work talking to a camera. <laughs> so I will see you in the next one.